everybody, my name is Chris Vising with Chris Tech here and I hope you're doing very well. Today is going to be an interesting video because we're going to be doing an Algodoo tutorial. Algodoo is an application to study the simulation of physics. People also use it to make algae cosatlin and to study the physics. Also, check out my brother's YouTube channel, Agamvir Singh. The videos are lit. He does algae cosatlin. Make sure to subscribe to his channel and let's begin. So here we are, we're in Google. So then we're gonna type in download Algodoo. So you're gonna click enter. And now you're gonna click download Algodoo and it should say for the link www.algodoo.com. So we're gonna click on that. So you can see it says download for Mac or download for iPad well for the iPad you can do it on App Store which is which is pretty cool and you can also download for Windows and download for Mac so we're gonna click on download for Mac so we're gonna hit enter and now we're gonna wait for this to finish so we're gonna click on this And now you can see this is the applications folder and that's Algodoo. So we're gonna drag that to applications. So you can see you heard that little um, tone. So we're gonna just minimize that. So now let's minimize Google. So as you can see you here, here have the Algodoo disk. So we're gonna click on that and as you can see it brings this page up again so we're gonna actually double click on it and now it opens Algodoo you can see and now um, just open and let me just X this out so here you can see this is Algodoo and so it already brings up a little project so um, So now basically let's talk about the basics of of Algodoo like what these what the buttons do. So let's first learn how to create a new project. So if you want to create a new project, you're going to click on this little paper button. So you click on new scene and now we're going to select default. And now it brings you to this page with a little darker blue background and the green grass so you can zoom out and zoom in by um using the the two fingers to like and you move it on the mouse pointer or if you're using a desktop computer then you for sure have to scroll with that um scrolling thing on the mouse so we're in algodoo and then let's say if you want to save your project we're going to click on this button here, save or share scene. So click on that. And then you can name it. Let's just call it test or my first algodoo project. So here is the save button. So you're going to click on save. And then you'll say, and then it will become saved. Now let's say if you're making a video and you want to hide these little bars then you're going to click on this and then you can choose whether what you want to hide and let's say your mouse pointer is touching and as you can see it's lighting up which bar so the scene bar is this bar properties is this bar with the designing so you can do glass gold wood steel and then this is the color for the object and this is the visualization so let's talk about these buttons because these are the most important buttons so let's X this out so this is a um, little drawing pen so you can make a shape and as you can see we made a shape so it actually made it perfect a perfect rectangle well if you don't want it then just 
um, if you don't want, if you want to make a custom shape, then just let's say you want to make a your own square or a triangle, and then you just do that, and then you immediately let go of the mouse. You don't want to keep on holding because it's gonna make it into perfect. So if you keep holding there, it makes it into a perfect. Oh, kind of made a mistake. Anyways, so this is the cutter button. Um, let me just bring that shape up. So this is the cutter button, and you can cut it. But let's say if you want to make a perfect line, then you select this grid menu button. Now you can make a perfect cut. You can even, so let's say you zoom in, you can see more tiny squares. So this is the max amount you can zoom in and this is the max amount you can zoom out. But um, if you're dragging a shape, you can see it, it's not so smooth. So when you're like placing objects, you wouldn't really want to use, you would want to use grid menu and you would also want grid menu for cutting, making a perfect line or shape. So this is the button where you can move around objects this button is when so let's say if we click run this is the run button so if we click that you can see that the objects moved and then when you use this little mouse pointer thing the hand thing you can zoom it out zoom and knock off objects except for the grass because the grass is attached to the bracket background and this button this button zoom turns the angle is for making the angle and then this button is for the size so and now we have these buttons so this button is a brush actually it's making like a little shape well seems like we need to make the size a little bigger Maybe we need to add color, so let's do black. Oh wait, it's actually... So, this is actually for erasing. So this brush is for erasing. And then this brush is for the coloring. So let's say, see that? Oops. Let's kind of... So you can make a line, and if you you see now it it has a little circle here. It has a li little bit of delay to the shape. So if you want to remove that, add, make it like completely perfect. Oh, then just simply go back to the circle and let go. Now you have a perfect shape. So you can delete that, and you can make polygons with this little button, which is cool. And this button is gears. They're gears. Oh, so now these are the circ squares and circle buttons. This button is, um, I think it's for. Oh, okay. So you make. You can use that for the grass. You can also delete the grass. It's just that it's not going to be, you can't knock it. So you can delete that, but let's just undo that. And then these are springs. Oh. It actually made it really big. Okay, so here is how you, so you can use these to adjust the size and the length the volume of it oh wait this is the actually the actual spring oh my bad guys so and then this is a fixate so you can use this to attach things to the background but let's say there isn't any fixate on the grass you don't see that where is the fixate well what people do is that um where did the shape go let's create a new shape so let's grab a fixate. So what people do is that they double click or for Mac you um 
uh, you click with two fingers for the computers you click right so and now you go to appearance and then you see this little a this you have to set to zero axel uh, pick fix it gone and then this so let's delete the fixate this is called an axle it's for motors so you can make a car using the axle uh, so also you can um, turn off gravity so of course it's going to be an apple because that's how Newton dis discovered gravity she saw the apple fall down so you can turn that off for some events if you want if you don't want gravity for the for an event you want to make then you turn that off and then now let's do another let's see another cool thing so we create a, create a square so we double click and now you can see you have this little edit bar and then what you will see all down to the bottom you have the script menu so you click that and it brings up this so you're basically doing the coding in Algodoo which is actually cool so you can um, use the coding for like um, bounciness or springs don't really work so well so these so that's basically today's video hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe comment down below on what moves what what you would like to learn in scratch and algadu make sure to hit the thumbs up and have a nice day so, so let's talk about the schedule so you know how i upload every tuesday and friday so on tuesdays i'll be uploading scratch tutorials and on fridays i'll be uploading algadu tutorials